Welcome to Technical Studies. Today, let us check how to fabricate and erect a large spherical storage tank. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you find this helpful. Fabrication and erection of a spherical storage tank. Part 1 Engineering and Design Phase. Design Parameters. Determine Storage capacity, example, 1,000 cubic meters to 5,000 cubic meters. Design pressure and temperature. Medium to be stored, example, LPG, LNG. Design life, typically 20 to 30 years. Design code, ASME Section 8, Division 1 or 2, or API 620. Material selection. Carbon steel, ASTM A516GR70. Stainless steel for corrosive media. Foundation design. Type, circular ring foundation with piles or mat foundation. Soil investigation report required. Consider wind, seismic, dead and live loads. Design anchor bolts, gusset plates, and grouting. Part 2. Material procurement and testing. Raw material. Plates, typically 10 to 40 mm thick based on pressure. Testing, mechanical, tensile, bend, charpy impact. Non-destructive, UT, ultrasonic testing. Mill test certificates, MTCs, required. Nozzles and accessories. Forged nozzles, ASTM A105 A350. Reinforcement pads. Manhole assemblies, valves, flanges. Part 3, plate cutting and forming. Gauze and petals. Gauze, vertical segments of the sphere. Petals, horizontal ring segments. Plates cut using CNC plasma, oxyfuel machines. Edge preparation. Bevel for welding. Single V or double V based on thickness. Check with template gauges. Row length forming. Use large hydraulic press or plate rollers. Form each segment to the curvature radius of the sphere. Check curvature using template profiles. Part for e fabrication. Subassembly. Weld individual petals and gauze into subassemblies. You saw submerged arc welding or GTAW for root passes. Perform fit up checks. Root gap, alignment, bevel angle. Welding procedure. Follow welding procedure specification WPS. Welders must be qualified as per ASME section 9. Use back gouging for full penetration welds. Interpass temperature control. 150 to 200 degrees Celsius depends on material. Non-destructive testing, NDT. Root pass. MT or PT. Final pass. RT or UT, 100% for pressure zones. Surface cleaning before testing. Heat treatment. If required, thickness greater than 38 mm or per specification, do PWHT, post weld heat treatment. Controlled heating and cooling rates using thermocouples. Part 5 Foundation and support structure. Anchor bolts and templates. Anchor bolts preset using template and checked for verticality. Grouting after column erection. Column erection. Columns fabricated and welded on site. Use survey instruments, total station, for plumbness and centering. Connect bracings and gusset plates. Part 6. Field erection of spherical shell. Lower hemisphere assembly. Crown plate installation, center bottom. Mark exact center of sphere. Install and support using jacks or temporary stands. First ring of petals. Weld to crown plate. 
Maintain horizontal level. Subsequent petals. Erect radially. Use cranes and lifting lugs. Welding. Internal temporary stiffeners used. Perform segment-wise welding with controlled sequence. Upper hemisphere assembly. Either built on ground and lifted for small spheres. Or assembled in place with scaffolding for large tanks. Lifting with 300 to 500 ton cranes or strand jacks. Nozzle welding. After shell welding complete. Prepare and weld all nozzles, flanges, manways. RT and UT for each nozzle weld. Part 7. Testing. Vacuum box testing. Used for testing root welds and nozzle attachments. Apply soap solution and check under vacuum box. Hydrostatic testing. Fill tank with clean water through bottom nozzle. Apply 1.3 into design pressure. Hold for minimum 2 hours. Monitor pressure drop and leaks. Note. If hydro test is not possible, example. LNG tanks use pneumatic test with safety precautions. Pneumatic leak test, alternative. Fill with dry air or nitrogen. Apply 110% of design pressure. Soap solution applied at all welds. Part 8. Painting, insulation, and final assembly. Surface preparation. Grit blaster SA 2.5. Remove oil grease using degreasing agents. Painting. Primer. Zinc rich epoxy. Intermediate. Epoxy. Top coat. Polyurethane or aliphatic. DFT, dry film thickness. 250 to 350 microns. Accessories. Ladders, handrails, safety cage, platforms. Nameplate and marking. Lightning arrester and earthing. Part 9. Commissioning. Drying and purging. Use hot air drying or vacuum drying. Purge with inert gas, example, nitrogen, to remove oxygen and moisture. Safety systems test. Emergency shutdown systems. Pressure safety valves. Gas detection and alarm systems. Final documentation. Test reports, NDT, hydro test, alignment. Welding logs, WPS, PQR, WQR. Material traceability. As built drawings. Manufacturer data report, MDR. Thank you for watching. Please comment.